It's been a little while since I brought you another instalment into the Michael J. Fox filmography and today I have got a tag team partner joining me for today's movie review of The American President, a movie from 1995 and I've got the awesome Jacob Martin joining me. But what are our thoughts on this movie? Well stick around and let's talk about it. Hey everyone, what's going on? Thank you so much for tuning into this review. Whether you're new or returning to the channel once again, really appreciate it. Today we're talking about The American President, directed by Rob Reiner and written by Aaron Sorkin. Let me throw it over to Jacob to tell you the plot of this movie. The American President stars Michael Douglas as the President of the United States, who is widowed. He lost his wife due to cancer. And as he's prepping up for a big election year and making his decisions and figuring out what bills to pass and get to the table, uh, he meets an environmental lobbyist played by Annette Bening, and the two slowly start to fall in love. And when the president starts to fall in love, that causes a big media frenzy. You have opposition having their voices on the matter, and there's just a crazy big firestorm that happens because of that. Thank you, Jacob. Really appreciate that, man. And we're going to definitely hear more from Jacob very, very shortly. I would like to say a huge thank you to all my awesome Patreons who help to really support the channel. If you're interested in joining Patreon and if you're interested in buying some merch or checking out my debut book, there is a link down below in the description box you can click where you can find all that good stuff. Over on Patreon, membership start from only £2 per month. You get access to so much extra content such as early videos, movie reviews, watch parties and so much more. Well, thank you so much for listening. Really appreciate it. Now let's get back on to the review. But this movie has an all-star stellar cast such as Michael Douglas, Annette Benning, Michael J. Fox, Richard Dreyfuss, Martin Sheen, and many, many more. So going into this movie, I actually didn't know anything about it. I've seen the DVD of this movie several times. I've seen the poster. So that is, is kind of far as my knowledge kind of went on this. Only what I can kind of say about this is it's very interesting a little bit of the backstory behind this because at the time for like before like kind of the screening and kind of like the tests they had to do for the parts and for this role and auditions and kind of medical kind of tests they had to do at this time Michael J Fox wasn't open about his Parkinson's disease so he was trying to hide that and he was dreading going into like a medical examination thinking that they were going to pick up on his Parkinson's and not actually give him the role well lucky for him he actually took his meds before for the actual examination so he was absolutely fine he wasn't shaking or trembling or anything like that and it was only kind of like a basic kind of medical test or so what i read up on which is uh, awesome because he got the part in this movie now Jake will touch on this a little bit later but of course Rob Reiner is a director that has done many kind of known movies and Aaron Sorkin who wrote this movie went later on to direct movies such as like Molly's Game from several years ago as I'm recording this video which I actually really enjoyed so yeah two people with their own respective backgrounds and kind of experience that they brought to this movie so ultimately what can I say about the American President well just a couple of quick positives before I hand over to Jacob I can say I enjoyed this movie I think this is is a fine movie i don't think it's a one that's going to be you know super or highly memorable or a one that i want to revisit you know time and time again or like a classic i don't think it falls under that genre i think it's well written i think the cinematography is nice i think the acting all around is pretty good there's some memorable scenes especially with michael j fox in one particular scene that jacob will also touch on as well i absolutely agree with him because a lot of my thoughts here I do agree with Jacob. I think he enjoyed it a little bit more, which we'll get into. But I think all around, this is just a good movie. Like the romance between Annette Benning's character and Michael Douglas's character, I believed. I enjoyed that element of it. There is also some political aspects here, which I also did enjoy. I wish there was a little bit more of that to an extent, because of course the romance factor, which is is mainly based on with this plot, focuses on that a little bit too much of course i kind of would have liked a bit more of a finer balance but that's just me personally so that's kind of like my main positives for this movie but before i carry on and maybe talk about some of the negatives i want to hand over to jacob and hear his thoughts on the american president thank you mike for having me back on your channel to discuss another film 
and Michael J. Fox's filmography. You previously had me on to talk about Casualties of War, which was a fantastic film. What did you ask me to cover this time? The American President. This film was released in 1995. The film was directed by Rob Reiner, who previously directed movies like The Princess Bride and Misery. And the film was actually written by Aaron Sorkin, whom Rob Reiner previously collabed with the screenwriter in the awesome film A Few Good Men. Uh, this movie does have an all-star cast. Like I said, Michael Douglas is the president. Uh, Annette Bening's in this movie. Pretty awesome supporting cast in general. Uh, Martin Sheen is in this film. Uh, Michael J. Fox uh, plays a pretty key character in the movie who's part of the president's staff. He's not in the movie that much. He has quite a few memorable scenes in the film. There's one scene where Michael J. Fox uh, rants uh, to one of the other uh, senators on the phone who's on like the opposing side. And the rant that Michael J. Fox does is pretty entertaining to watch, I'm not going to lie. Uh, another memorable performance that I really enjoyed in this movie uh, is Richard Dreyfus, who plays a senator on the opposing side who uh, starts running for president and starts spreading rumors about uh, what's going on about the president and his private life and stuff. I did not recognize Richard Dreyfus because he completely transforms into a different character. Uh, between that, I think I only recognize him because I recognize his voice. I was like, I didn't know Richard Dreyfus was in this movie. And sure enough, he was in this movie. And he's pretty entertaining in this film. Uh, this movie has a really epic script. I mean, Aaron Sorkin is such a gifted screenwriter. You know, because he's written movies like A Few Good Men. He's done The Social Network. He also wrote Moneyball. And has even directed movies as of recent years like The Trial of the Chicago 7. And he just has a natural knack when it comes to uh, screenwriting and characters saying such sharp dialogue that flows very delicately. And it's no exception in this movie. And the main reason why I enjoy the film is the screenwriting on display. Now, when I started watching The American President, I came in with uh, the mentality because we're dealing with a fictitious president. I thought it was going to be more of a political drama. And yeah, there are some political stuff in this film as you know, there's talk about uh, re-election and getting some bills passed and you got some opposition and somebody else running against them and then uh, the president has to make the big speech at the end. So if politics isn't your thing, it might rub on your toes depending on where you stand on politics and stuff. But as far as the actual movie goes, yeah, the, there's political stuff in the movie, but the core of this movie is actually a romance film where you have the president, he falls in love with a lobbyist who shouldn't technically shouldn't be getting along, but they actually do get along. They put their differences aside because they actually do love each other. And you get to see that relationship blossom in the midst of you know the tabloid media frenzies and stuff. And that was the aspect of the film I actually really liked the most. Like Michael Douglas is really good in this movie as the president. Like he definitely has the command that you want to see out of the president of the United States and he definitely has that gravitas but you get to see a more sweet and sensitive side when you see the romantic aspect of the story and I thought Annette Bening I thought was really likable in this movie too uh, the chemistry between the two is fantastic I think it works because you got the Aaron Sorkin script and honestly I liked the romance aspect of this movie more so than I did uh, the political aspect of the movie, and even the political aspect of the movie, uh, I still thought was very interesting because of the screenwriting, the dialogue, and there, there's some pretty good speeches at the end. The speech Michael Douglas gives at the end, very well acted. Uh, it's, it's all around a pretty good movie. I don't think it's one I'd be clamoring to rewatch anytime soon, but... It's still a very well-made movie, uh, very well-directed, especially it succeeds on a writing level. Uh, it's got excellent performances. I definitely recommend it for the performances and the screenwriting alone. Depending on where you are politically, there's some aspects of this movie that might not work for you, but if you're like me, not really crazy in politics and just wants to watch a quality movie with layered characters then, yeah, I think The American President is well worth your time. I thought this was an enjoyable movie. I enjoyed the screenwriting, and I was invested in the overall story. And the romance elements, I thought, was a very 
fresh angle to take with a story involving the president of the United States. Because usually uh, movies featuring uh, the president, whether it's a fictional president or a movie based on an actual president in American history, it's usually about either scandals or uh, fighting opposition and stuff like that. No, this is mainly a love story, and I thought that was very refreshing for a movie like this. And I respect the movie because of that. Uh, if you haven't seen The American President, I think it's a hidden gem. Check it out if you haven't seen it already. And as for me, I'll be giving The American President a 4 out of 5 stars. And on my 100 point scale, it's getting a 75 out of 100. So thank you, Mike, for inviting me on your channel once again to talk about The American President. I enjoyed watching this movie for the first time. I'm excited to hear what your thoughts on this movie are going to be. I won't hog up too much of your time, so I hope you have an awesome day, and back to your thoughts. Thank you so much, Jacob, for sharing your thoughts, man. Always great to have you on a collaboration, and thank you so much for joining me. Sorry that it took me a little while to get this collaboration portion put together. I've had, had Jacob's portion for a little while now. It was kind enough over to send it over to me, so thank you so much, Jacob. Now, if you're not subscribed to Jacob Martin's channel, firstly, what the heck are you doing? Get over to his channel by clicking the link down below in the description box. Go subscribe to him. Go tell him that I sent you. Maybe say that you saw this review and let him know, and uh, he's such a great guy. Some great content as well. Make sure of live streams, pre-recorded videos, all sorts of good stuff over on his channel. So definitely go check out Jacob's channel. And yeah, as I mentioned before, I think we mostly agree on this movie, right? I think Jacob definitely kind of marked and like have this as maybe like a bit of a higher regard than I have personally. And I think it's definitely how you view this movie, right? Because I think as Jacob mentioned, if you're into politics, you, you may find like some more enjoyment in this than others. If you're not into politics at all, you might think... The aspect's completely boring. I wish this was just like a pure just love story and like that's it. So I think it's definitely like a a kind of a perception kind of thing if you're going to go into this movie and the kind of enjoyment factor that you're going to have. I do feel like at times there's a little bit odd moments here now. I think this movie could have been shortened just that little bit and had maybe a bit more of an impact for myself personally. As I mentioned before, I would have liked to have actually seen a little bit more of the political side. Not that I'm massively into politics, but of course, something where it's involving like an American president and, you know, it's not an attack on like a country or like any kind of, you know, like, typical kind of like action movie for example i know this is in that genre but kind of the more kind of like the behind the scenes part of it all i would have liked to have seen a little bit more of that kind of element personally uh but the romance is good as i mentioned before there's a lot of positives to be had it's a fine movie but a couple of negatives for me that kind of stops this from being like a highly rewatchable movie so with that all that in mind my overall score for the american president is a free out of five stars have you seen this one have you heard of it are you going to check it out well leave any and all comments down below so we can continue discussion down there if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you already have by clicking the red button down below thank you so much once again to jacob for joining me on this collaboration link to his channels down below in the description box but thank you to you guys for joining me in this review and until the next time that i see you i'll be seeing you later mm -hmm.